YouTube. So today I am back with another Disney outlet haul. I hope you guys are all having an awesome week. It has been a very long week to be honest so I'm so happy that it's Friday and throughout this week I went to the outlets looking for Christmas presents and my mom's birthday's coming up and of course I had to stop at Disney so I will just get into the haul. I have all my prior Disney outlet hauls linked below. I think there's like six or seven of them now so if you'd like to watch the prior ones please uh, click the links below. So let's get into it. Um, as usual, I will try to tell you what the original price is if it's not blocked off of the product and of course what I paid for it. So the first thing here is a Disney scrapbook kit and this was originally $29.95 and we got it for $12.99. So this is the front of it. Basically it comes with 15 assorted color sheets, memory album, paper folder, um, just basically a ginormous scrapbook full of Disney stuff. Um, I was never really a scrapbook person until I got married, and then after I got married, I made a big, um, like, Disney wedding-themed album, and so I've got that just in case we go on, like, a vacation or when I, you know, have kids or whatever, and those things are pretty expensive normally, so I thought $12.99 wasn't bad. And to go along with that, I also got another scrapbook item. This here is a deluxe scrapbook kit. It has, like, um, all the papers for scrapbooking. This was $25 originally and we got it for $12.99. It has stickers and scrapbook sheets on the uh, inside of it. Like here's the back here. It just kind of tells you like what's inside. I just thought it was really cute. And the paper and stickers and stuff that you buy for scrapbooking, that's like the most expensive part of the whole like hobby. The albums themselves and stuff, you can always find them on sale at Michael's but it's just like the stickers and stuff. Next thing I got, I had to get it because I love Duffy. This is a Duffy pillow pet, and he looks a little weird. I don't know, like, he kind of looks, I mean, he's a bear, so this is actually how he's supposed to be, not, like, sitting up like the rest of the Duffies, but this guy was only 10 bucks, and let me see if I can see how much he was. I can't tell how much he was, but I want to say, like, once when I've been at Downtown Disney or the parks, these have been, like, $25 or $30. So for 10 bucks, that was pretty good. And it's really soft, and it's really squishy, and it's really huggable. So it goes with my shirt today. I have a bear on my shirt, a bear here. So I really like it, and I love Duffy. They also had a Perry the Platypus one. I almost bought that one, but I had to stop myself because I was like, oh, my God, I already have too much stuff. I really, you guys would be proud of me. I really edited myself on this trip. Um, it might not look like that after you see everything, but like I had so many prints of like the one in the background, the Disney hipster. They had all these new prints of that. They had like original artwork of that. They had millions of different stuff that I almost got them all. Like they were 20 bucks a piece for each print. I put them all back and I like edited out a whole bunch of other stuff so you guys would be proud of me. Um, next item I got is for my Christmas tree. This is an ornament. And it has the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland, and then it has the little King of Hearts on the back. And I just thought it was really cute, and I like to have Disney ornaments, obviously. Um, this was $10.95 originally, and it was $5 at the outlet. I thought it was really cute. It's just like hollow plastic, so obviously that's not the best quality, but it's okay. Um, I have a whole bunch of Disney ornaments right now, and I have a picture on my Instagram showing like most of my Disney ornaments, so if you guys are interested in that, then check out my Instagram. It's all on there. So I think the rest of what's in this bag is pins, which I'll show you. So this one is Duck In, Fly Out, Aqua Duck on the Disney Dream. So the Aqua Duck, we didn't go on the Disney Dream, it was Disney Fantasy, but they had the Aqua Duck, which is a ride, like a water ride on, la on a line, <laughs> on a ship. Um, so I wanted to get this pin because it reminded me of our cruise. And I don't know exactly how much all these pins were um, because they don't have the prices. They just have like the colors on the back. They're anywhere from like $4.99 and below. So I didn't pay more than like $4.99 or $5.99 um, for them. The next one is a, uh, I think it's like the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. Let's see. Oh no. I think mine's broken. It's supposed to have their like little faces in there and like when you go like this it's like holographic. But I think that I got a broken one. That is not like me. Normally I am like scanning and like analyzing things before I buy them. Like I'll get the like on a shelf I'll have to get the product like all the way in the back. Not never the one in the front or even the second one. Um, so I probably pulled this one all the way from the back thinking it was safe and like it is like jacked up. So ah! If you guys are like that, let me know. Do you guys like get the first thing 
that you see at the store or you like me. I don't know. I think it's more common. I was never like this before my husband. My husband made me this way. Um, next thing I got was some magnets and I got two of the same. Um, so I'm only going to show you one obviously just because I'm giving them to my friend Eric. Um, these are the ones that I got. It's a hipster Mickey and Minnie drinking coffee. Um, listening to music and just being real cute. Hopefully you guys can see those. These were um, $7.95 normally and at the outlets they were $2.99. I think they're so cute. Like I said before in my last haul, I really love that art series. And those are like the prints that they had there. I had to like edit myself like I said. So um, I will settle for the magnets. It's okay. The next thing I got was a pin that's Walt Disney World. It's Cinderella's Castle. I thought this one was really pretty. Um, it's kind of like has a hanging part to it, which is really cute. Um, by the way, also, if you're watching this video and you're new to my channel or you haven't seen it, I did post a Disney pin collection video. I will link that below as well. If you're interested in seeing my pin collection, then watch that video because I did a whole collection finally on it. Next one I got is a Nightmare Before Christmas pin, and this is Jack Skellington, and it says, Don't Be a Bonehead, which I thought was super cute. The next one I got was a little patriotic Mickey. I'm assuming this is from the America section at Epcot, but it's, I just thought it was cute. I mean, I think that one was like 2 bucks or $2.99. And then the last pin that I got was the American Idol um, Disney Parks collection. And the reason I got this is because they don't have the American Idol, like, little ride, not, it's not a ride, but the little show anymore. So I was like, hey, this might be limited edition one day because I don't even have this anymore. So let me get it just for collection value. So I'm going to move on to the next bag now. The first thing I got was probably like one of my favorite things I got, and this is a magnet, but it looks like a donut with Mickey Mouse, like, sprinkles. Like, this looks legit. Is this a real donut? You don't know. It's a magnet. <laughs> so I just, I just think it's so cute. And like, look, this like, look at the sides. It like legitimately looks like a donut. This was originally twelve ninety five, and it was four bucks. So I was like, uh, yes, I need that for four bucks, a donut. Next thing was another Duffy Bear, and he was ten dollars as well. Um, this guy does not say how much he originally was, but normally these things are like twenty five bucks at the at the uh, regular park. Duffy dressed up as like the old Steamboat Willie um, Mickey Mouse and Michael really likes the old Mickey Mouse that's dressed like this so he wanted to get Duffy like this because we love Duffy and then he loves that so this is really for him even though he tried to say it was for me but you know he was like this is secretly for me and like yes I know. Um, the next thing I got was another Christmas item. This is a Santa tree topper, Mickey, Santa Mickey tree topper. Hopefully you guys can see him. Um, he's on like a little snowflake. And this guy was originally 35 bucks, and it was only $18 at the outlets. Um, this year we bought a new tri tree topper, different than this one. So I'm not going to use this one this year, but I'm going to put it on my tree next year. Um, the other one we got is like super colorful, and it matches my tree. So I don't really want to just take it off. I just bought it, obviously. So The next thing I got was a Star Wars... Um, cars like hybrid so this is lightning mcqueen as luke skywalker so you see he has like a lightsaber um i thought it was just really cute and michael loves star wars obviously so this was 10 bucks normally it was on sale for five um we also ended up getting the film war as yoda so if you see he has like ears on the front and this is the same price i just thought those were cute to collect and then the final things that I got are all Vinyl Nation items, and I did open them because I didn't want to like fiddle with the packages on the video, so um, I will show you guys what they are, but if you see me like pulling them out and they're already open, that's why. So the first thing is this Halloween set, and this is from this year. It has Pluto and it has Mickey, and they have like really scared faces on from Halloween, which I thought was really cute. And this is actually a limited edition of 2500 so that's pretty cool. Um, these were 7 bucks, and they were originally 30 bucks at the park, so that's pretty awesome. I mean, 7 bucks, wow. Especially for a limited edition. I mean, I know I don't ever like plan on selling this stuff, but who knows? Like, I'm gonna pass this stuff on to my kids and they could sell it a hundred years from now. I don't know. <laughs> so, the next thing is this like blind box, and this is the Vinylmation Ink and Paint series. So, this is the box, and the one that came in this particular box is this one. And I think this is a cow, I don't know the name of it right now, but I mean, it's it's pretty cute. Not the cutest one I've ever gotten, to be honest, but when you're at the outlets, it's really hit or miss. Like, it could be, like, the ugliest ones they sent there. <laughs> um, 
The other one that we got out of the same series is like the male cow version, which is this one here. So those were pretty cute. I think these were $3.99 and then they're originally $12.95 at the actual park. Um, the next one that we got is this Vinylmation like Disney Park vinyls and this was $25 bucks. normally you got it for $7. So it comes with this guy here, which is like a little director, and then it has a mystery one on the inside. So the mystery one that we got is uh, this, I think this is, I don't know if this is a cat or a lion, I cannot tell. Um, so let me know if you know what it is. Um, that's dangerous to say, because in my, one of my hauls, like I didn't realize, I hadn't seen like Toy Story 3, so I didn't know who Prickly Pants was, or Mr. Prickle Pants. And like I asked people to tell me who it was and like I've literally gotten like 300 comments telling me it's Mr. Prickle Pants. I'm like I've got it. It's Mr. Prickle Pants. Okay so if you see somebody has already told me who that is you don't have to leave a comment. Just saying. <laughs> um, the last two things I got were these Park Stars and these were like holiday ones which I thought they were like really cute. Look at this packaging. It's super cute. So this is Big Al and Trixie, which is from uh, the Frontierland. And let me show you them. Here is Trixie with her little bow. That's the only thing little about her, that's for sure, but she's really cute. And I really like the packages the most. Like I actually like the packages more than the figures. <laughs> I'm crazy. Okay, and then this is Big Al, which I think he is like the cutest one because he has this like birthday hat on and he's sitting there playing like the guitar or banjo? Guitar. Yeah, guitar. <laughs> so that is everything that we got. Um, these figures, oh sorry, I forgot to mention, these figures were $50 normally and then we got them for $10 bucks and they came in a set of two. So that's everything that I got this time at the Disney Outlet. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing it. If you did, leave me a comment below letting me know what your favorite item was I picked up and give this video a thumbs up. I hope that you guys have a great weekend and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!